Hello everyone, this is Michael Miller with Mike's Let's Play on the tutorial of ZD Soft Game Recorder 1.5. Uh, the game recording software that I use. Uh, I just want to give a brief tutorial on how to use this software. Uh, so, basically, the first thing is the video. Uh, the save recording videos too. This is the uh, I want to say place where you want to save your videos too. I have mine set up to a folder on my desktop called Let's Play Half-Life. You can obviously change this to a specific spot that you want. Okay. Uh, the encoding. You're basically going to want an AVI file. That's basically the raw video footage that can easily be uploaded to YouTube. Uh, I prefer the DIVX compiler because that compiles it into a smaller file sized video. Uh, the video size, I keep mine at half size for if I put it to full size it runs like s the video runs seven times faster which I have no idea why but yeah the video frames per second or FPS uh, auto detect suitable FPS that's basically saying that when you hit record it's gonna detect the FPS rating at that period of time and it'll give you the better recording if you set it to a custom FPS there might be a little bit of lag within your video uh, the video bit rate uh, I'm not sure how to explain right now, but I'll leave a brief description in the description of this video. Uh, the start slash end recording hotkey. This is basically, if you press this button, the software will start recording, and if you press it again, it'll stop recording. And in order to uh, change the hotkey, all you have to do is press none or yeah you'll have to press none press a button on your keyboard and there it's set to a button and if you want to change it you just press disable do it again a mouse cursor that's just if you want to capture the mouse into your video uh, I don't really care much for it so I don't have it checked the audio uh, Audio recording basically is record audio along with video. That means that when you're recording your video, you're also recording audio. This one obviously just records the video. Audio devices is whatever device you have for your audio. Audio input, there's several things, but basically if you're doing a let's play like I do, you're probably going to want a stereo mix or a mono mix. Stereo mix, well, the mixes basically mean that you're recording the game video and the game audio at the same time. If you do microphone, for instance, you're just going to record your microphone and the game video. You will not get any game audio with it. So, the difference between mono and stereo, stereo I just prefer better sounds a little bit nicer to me uh... the audio s sample rate this just means do you want a higher clear audio or a lower not so clear audio up to you audio bit rate i'll also leave a brief description in the description of this video screenshots i don't really do but has some of the same features as video. Uh, you have where you want to save it to. You can always change where you want to save this if you want a specific file or place you want to save it to. Uh, you have these different types of files that you can save it as. A JPEG uh, or is what I prefer. It's a smaller file size than these PNGs or the BMPs which are bigger files, medium files and yeah, smaller file size takes up less memory, so I use those. 
uh, screenshot image size not very sure of what this is if I find out I'll put a description in the description of the video a uh, repeat screenshot basically if you have this checked uh, once you press the hockey which is right here uh, every 10 seconds it'll take a screenshot of whatever you're taking a screenshot of and until you press the button again and then it'll stop I don't typically have this checked so I so yeah uh, once again this is a hotkey you change it by clicking it disabling it whatever and mouse cursor if you want to capture your mouse in your screenshot uh, I don't typically do screenshots so I don't check that uh, here's your general options run program automatically when Windows starts that's just when you start up your computer this program will automatically start up and you're ready to use it uh, minimize automatically when program starts uh, basically when you start recording your video uh, this will minimize to the bottom of <coughs> bottom of your screen and you won't have to worry about it being in your way uh, set program windows always on top of all windows this is basically when you have this running you can if you drag a folder let's say my half let's play half-life folder over it uh, my right now my let's play half-life folder is over it but if you check this box this will always be over what you drag so yeah uh, check for updates I have this checked because updates are good uh, show splash screen when program starts basically when you start the program you're just gonna get basically the ZD soft game recording 1.5 uh, little I don't know little decal for a split five seconds or so and it goes away uh, beep on starting or stopping an operation basically when you re start recording or start a screenshot it'll your computer will beep that's good because then when you want to record or you'll know that you're recording and that you don't accidentally press a button and you're sitting there for an hour and you're taking up all your memory on your computer that's a good thing to have checked uh... add creation date and time on the file name that's if you want to know really when you created the snap the screenshot or the video i don't really have this checked because i don't care about the date or time i created it uh... create a new file or stop recording when a file exceeds however many megabytes you want it to this is so that you don't accidentally press your record button and it records 1000 megabytes you don't really want it recording 3000 megabytes so that way you can easily get rid of it and no real damage gets done uh, I'm not really sure what this only reserves the last three file per recording is if I figure out what it does I'll put a brief description in the description of this video uh, toggling the FPS during game and you can choose where you want your FPS to be located but basically when you start up a game and you're running ZD soft game recorder 1.5 uh, there will be and you're running a game while you're running this there will be a little number up at the upper left hand corner of the screen which indicates how much frames per second you're running at when you do a video or a probably a video the number will decrease depending on how good your computer is but basically if you press F11 or whatever you want this set up as uh, the frames per second will disappear and you don't have to worry about it if you're recording a video it's the number will not show up in your video so that is good and yeah that about is basically your registration information don't really need to go into detail about that uh, 
So yeah, that's a basic information on ZD Soft Game Recorder 1.5. This has been Michael Miller from Mike's Let's Play on a tutorial of ZD, <coughs> ZD Soft Game Recorder 1.5. Uh, and I will see you guys later.